All right. So is it possible to permanently reduce your taxes, right? And is it possible to even maybe never pay them? Um, obviously, there's different types of taxes, and that's kind of what we're getting into for this. So for more information on this, a good book is Tax-Free Wealth by Tom Wheelwright. Here's the cover. He's one of the rich debt advisors, if you're familiar with Robert Kiyosaki and the stuff that he does. Um, but he's a CPA in 1986. He was a manager in the National Tax Department of Ernest Young um, and basically practices what he preaches, um, which is basically, you know, being a CPA and doing taxes specifically for like businesses and um, investors, right? And so doing that sort of thing because the tax laws for them are much different. Obviously, a lot of people will say whine about that, um, but there's reasons for that. And he goes into that in depth, right? Basically looks at the tax code as a form of incentives to do certain things. And so basically the government's kind of incentivizing you and rewarding you for doing the things that they want that they would otherwise have to do, like provide housing, investment in energy, things like that, right? And I've talked about a previous book, or not a previous book, Previously, I've talked about another book of his. It was actually published after this one. It's like the win-win wealth strategy, and it was like seven different something. I don't know, I'll put a card to it at the end of the video so you guys can find that one as well. But anyways, there are two editions to this book. One, the first one in March of 2012, and the second one in April of 2018, right? This one is the second edition, and it's about 280 pages, right? So it's not too long. Um, but either way, how he kind of, it's called tax-free wealth, right? So what he defines that as is it's about using the tax law the way it's meant to be used as a series of incentives to do what the government wants you to do, right? To use his own words, right? And so basically what's in here and what you'll learn is why governments want you to pay less taxes. And he explains that, or they actually want you to do less taxes because, you know, you're doing the things that they want and it's cheaper for you to do them than for them to pay you or I'm sorry for them to pay to do it themselves right like to provide housing and that sort of thing um, typically the private sector does things cheaper and faster in that way right another one is why seemingly complex why seemingly complex tax code is actually made to help you get rich in the first place and he goes through that more in depth through various examples and things you can do and that sort of thing. Um, he also goes about why investors and entrepreneurs get all the tax breaks themselves. And it's not necessarily your um, 1041 employee that you typically have. Um, there's not much you can do really besides just filing them at the end of the year. There's a lot more uh, leeway and play you can have as an investor or businessman, right? Um, also, not to fear an audit is in there and basically how you can survive one in general. Um, gives tips and stuff on that. Um, and how to use your tax savings to build wealth in general, right? Um, and basically a fun little quote and one a big reason why you should probably read the book is the average person in a developed country spends 25 to 35% of their life working to pay taxes, right? Basically, that's how much is coming out regardless and so if you're paying that much taxes for your entire life then you might as well you know try to reduce them at least one would think um but a cool thing about this book is he has a lot of uh charts and tables and things like that like he gives tax tips throughout it um he has little rules for you to learn to basically kind of like the principles of I don't know, the fundamentals of permanently reducing your taxes and things like that. Um, let's see, he's got tax strategies you can use, um, things like that. And he also, one thing I liked is he has tables to where basically like he'll implement or show you a tax strategy. And then he'll give you a table of actual numbers. It's like, this is how much you'd pay without it. And then with it and shows it um, basically amortized for like two or three decades. Somewhere. There's examples of that throughout the book, right? But one of the biggest things in here too, and I think the biggest reason of why it's important to get it and read it, 
is one, it gives you the basic understanding of taxes, or at least a little bit more, makes you a little bit more educated so you can ask better questions, right? And so one thing he goes in, there are specific questions to ask when hiring a tax advisor in the first place. So this isn't something you read and like, oh, you can do your taxes yourself. It's you read this and then, okay, now you can basically vet a better tax advisor to basically one that can actually help you do what you want to do right um not really asking you know can i reduce my taxes in this way but like how can i right be more kind of active in that respect so that's there right and kind of a final quote right so tax laws of all countries are written to encourage certain activities that benefit the economy and promote social policy right and that's kind of and that's from the preface of this book and that goes along the lines of the whole like does it doesn't matter the general the nuances between the tax laws of different countries are obviously going to be different because they're trying to incentivize different things or at least to different degrees right and they're not all going to be the same but he gives multiple examples um through all of his content in general not just this book about how basically the general themes and the general concepts or activities that are incentivized are basically the same across the board and yes they do that in different ways and there's different nuances to it but that's why you get the book and talk and and, and vet a, a competent tax advisor to do that right that's the whole point of it All right and so i will put a card up at the end of this video for both the win win wealth strategy his other book that I did a video on, which was a really good one. And it goes through like specific, like I swear it's seven, but like seven different ways you can per permanently reduce your taxes. And then also things that you can do to just, it's this like seven major themes of what we're talking about, like activities that the um, government wants you to do, right? Like invest in energy, um, housing, that sort of thing, um, businesses, and I go more in depth, obviously, in that book. I'll also put up a playlist to the rest of the book reviews and that sort of thing. So you guys can check those out as well. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.